My name's Katie Aitchison, I'm the CEO of Youth Action. The thing I love most about the Beyond Stereotypes project is it started with just a simple question of what makes you smile about living in Western Sydney and talking to 900 young people, we heard very clearly that they loved it. Then what was really interesting is taking that to the What's Up West conference and hearing from young people that yes, absolutely it was true that they also loved living in Western Sydney, but there were some people who felt like their voices weren't being heard and that they weren't being represented in the community. And that particularly was young women in Western Sydney from Arabic speaking, communities from LGBTQI community, also from the Aboriginal community, we heard really clearly that they didn't feel like they were given opportunities to really take leadership and to be heard. So we created a leadership program for young women. And then also from that, we were able to create a 23 metre mural with Parramatta City Council to celebrate awesome young women and awesome leadership of young people in Western Sydney. The City of Parramatta wanted to be a part of the project because we thought the opportunity was really, really unique uh, to reflect the voices of young people, their values, the things they care about, their passions and how they feel about living in Western Sydney. We believe it's important to elevate the voice of young people, to listen deeply to what young people have to say about the city they want to live in and to find a way to reflect that back. The best way to do that is to implement the projects like this one uh, that they see as important. What makes me smile about living in Western Sydney? It's probably got to be the people who live here and the broad diversity we have. We've got people from all different backgrounds and walks of life, which is really, really pleasing because you get to see the best of a lot of worlds, I will say. The augmented reality element is a way to interact with public art in a way that we don't often get the chance to. It is also a way to empower young people with information about local services, to hear about what it is that they do, be they mental health, homelessness services, uh, the range of services that are important to young people. Given the same amount of opportunity as people in far wealthier areas of Sydney, we can achieve so, so much. I think this is important for young people of the West because we need places and spaces for young people to uh, feel comfortable, to feel free to express themselves and to have an opportunity to have their voices heard. Western Sydney has one of the largest and most diverse groups of young people in Australia. They have so much to offer and often what happens is that we don't give them the space to be the experts of the area to tell us what it's really like to be a young person in Western Sydney and to talk about what the future of Western Sydney should look like. So it's so important that we have conversations regularly with young people about what's happening for them, what they want to see in their community and the innovation and the great ideas for the future that they have inside their heads and unless you ask them you'll never know.